All right, what now? Well, I'm home for a day or two, so I've got some time to work on another component of this guy. I think I'm going to work on the shifter, because right now it's in third gear and it drives great, but I would like to be able to shift it uh, just, just to get some more speed out of it, some more acceleration, all that good stuff. So the shifter's right there. I turned that down on a metal lathe back when I had access to it. And that's going to mount right about there in the frame. Now there's not really much for it to attach to right now, so I've got to make a little frame piece that comes out like that. And that's actually what I've started doing already. I have these two, these two little metal pieces cut here. These are going to go like that. And we're going to get a piece in the middle. It's got a bolt sticking out of it that's welded on. And that's going to be what the uh, shifter pivots on. Would you look at that? Needs a little cleaning up, but not bad. Not bad at all. I can be stuck on the side, and then I think tomorrow I'll probably make something to uh, attach a little uh, a little bolt to it. Well, the he the head of the bolts on, so it'll pivot nicely, and find a way to make the cables hook on the end. All right. Got a bolt welded on. Kind of messy, but that's all right. Uh, shifter goes on nicely. It should be uh, pretty mad. So I still have yet to figure out that linkage, but you can see over here on this end of things where the actual shifter attaches. Uh, I've got a setup more or less uh, pretty good here. So this is the shifting uh, shaft and it's got this little linkage on here. I believe this is what more or less was on the bike to begin with was this uh, this pedal that has this little linkage here but I figured the best way to do it was to move it out here like this so I can get a cable coming from this way, a cable coming from that way and I'll be able to move back and forth. And this actually works pretty well. I just uh, welded a bolt onto the engine um, engine framing mount thing. So when you slide the engine back and forth, this won't move. This will move with it, which is what I want. But it actually it actually works pretty well though. Uh, so you'll be able to shift this with a cable um, attached to up here. I'm going to modify this pedal a little bit so it'll take a cable from both sides. And on this bolt, I'm simply going to weld in a little uh, like a like a nut on this side so it doesn't move around so much, and then kind of put a probably a lock nut on the other side so it keeps it in place so it doesn't move back and forth but this uh, should be a good setup for shifting it and everything would you look at that we got a little shaft collar thing on there to uh, keep the pedal from staying in place I might want to use a uh, nylon lock nut instead but for now all I have is those two jammed together but it'll work for now and it doesn't wobble back and forth anymore, and it works well as a, as a shifter for forwards and back. So I'm going to put the shifter on the left side of the cart, and then simply run a straight linkage, just a straight bar from the, uh, the shifter straight to here, one of these holes probably, and that will make it incredibly easy to shift without having to use two cables and hook it all up. It's going to be a little weird using your left hand to do that, uh, but at least it'll keep my dominant hand on the wheel, take much less time to fabricate, and uh, probably work better as well. Okay, well I had to uh, shorten up a rod I had and re-thread it on the end so the nut, the nut could go on to attach the linkage there. But uh, it works pretty well, actually. It's pretty easy to shift. And um, I'm kind of surprised, you know, like I could have, I spent like five hours hooking up that whole bolt linkage and trying to make a, uh, that whole plate for the, uh, the throttle cable right there. 
And I didn't really have to do any of that, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'm glad I found a better way. Okay, change the plans a little bit. The old linkage was too too flimsy to uh, really be relied on for shifting. You can see it's kind of bent already. I'm trying to shift back. So I got a, uh, a new setup I'm going to try and use, which is uh, this linkage here, which has got an, a length adjustment on it. And it's got this little hook on the side, hole in it. And on this side, same thing. Uh, it's too long, so it's got to be cut down to the right length. But this is going to be much better because I can just put that through the hole and then put a cotter pin on it so it can rotate. Because I had a problem before where that linkage was just uh, nuts in the end of a threaded rod and you couldn't really... Too much, too much, too much play in it, basically. So I got rid of the old holes on this uh, shifter foot thing and put this uh, little plate on here, welded it on. And I'm going to use a cotter, or a hairpin rather, whatever, with this so it can rotate when you shift up and down and all that stuff. So the uh, foot can rotate, and then cut it down. Figure out a way to attach it to my uh, attach it to my uh, little shifter nub, and that should be much better. And the next step is probably uh, strengthening the frame because it is a bit wobbly. Well, you can kind of see what I'm talking about there with the uh, washer and hairpin inside there. The linkage is all cut to length. It's much more solid of a linkage now doesn't move around as much and uh, there's no way this metal bar is going to bend nearly as much as when it was on, on there before. Okay, so that's pretty much good.